Hi guys, welcome to today's tutorial on chmod, right? So on chmod is basically a command to change the permissions of a file, right? So let's say we have a file uh, and we want to look at the permissions of that file. So I just did ls-ltr to list out the files that we have. So if you see this first column, right? It says hyphen rwx, 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 right? So this means a lot of things. Okay, I'm going to explain what each of these things mean, right? So basically, there's uh, 10 fields that's populated, okay? So if you go here, it's like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 9. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. 10 fields, right? So for these 10 fields, what do they mean? So whether it's first field means whether it's file or directory. For us, it's a file, right? So for a file, it's always hyphen, okay? And then after that, our permissions start. The first three sets of characters indicate the owner who has created the file. And the sec second uh, set of three um um, characters indicate the permissions of the group and the last three characters indicate the permissions of the user. Okay, so uh, basically we have three kind of permissions that we can give to either owner, group or user. So we have read, write and exclude. Okay, so let's say we want to give all permissions to all users, right? So that will be read, write, execute. So read so it follows a binary method wherein we have if we have to give read then it's two raised to the power of three minus one which is two and then two raised to the power one which is two and two raised to the power zero which is one. Again same thing two raised to the power of two, two raised to the power of one, two raised to the power of zero, and then all of it comes out to be seven. Right, seven on the owner set, seven on the group set, seven on the user set. So all in all, it will give you the permission seven seven seven. So if you try to do ch mod seven 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 on test dot txt, right, and then do a ls hyphen ltr, it'll give it. It will say that it has read write execute read write execute read write execute. On all three groups, right? So uh, after after that, let's say we have a use case where we want to give uh, only read access to the uh, to the owner and only write access to the group, and we want to give all permissions to the external users, right? For that, we will write two raised to the power of two because that stands for read, and then write zero raised to the power of one, and then execute zero raised to the power of zero. Again, in the group, because we only want to give write, we'll give 2 raised to the power of 1. Everything else will be 0 raised to the power of something. And then for the user, it will be 2 raised to the power of 2, 2 raised to the power of 1, and 2 raised to the power of 0. Right? So, it comes to 4, 2, and 7 if you add up the numbers. Right? So, let's try them. So, what we'll do is, we'll do chmod um, 4, 2, 7. And test dot txt, right? And then we'll do ls hyphen ltr. So that gives. See, if you look at the very first thing, right? It's a file. Since it's a file, it's hyphen as the first character, and then for the next three characters, you just have read permission. Okay, and then for the next three, you just have write permission, and for the last one. You have read, write, and execute permission. So it's that easy to decode binarily, you know, what kind of permission you want to give. So I hope it I made it clear how chmod works and how you can convert the read, write, execute commands into binary modes. And hope this video helped. And if you have not subscribed to my YouTube channel yet, uh, please do so. And thanks a lot for watching.